Now, in the third process, let's assume the model equipment we sold is under warranty and we have to provide the customer with four different complementary services. We can call this a preventive maintenance service, and every three months our service engineer will have to go and check up on the equipment to see whether or not it is working properly. If the equipment has any issues, i.e. oiling or cleaning, the engineer will perform the activity free of charge. So for this, let's select the equipment module and click on service contracts under the profiles section. You can also click on new service contract above. Next, fill out the basic information as requested. And for the sake of this example, let's assume this is a one-year contract. Hit save once done. Now go to the schedules tab and click on add schedule to create a schedule in the system. This way the system knows what kind of service order needs to be generated as well as what items need to be selected. Under inventory ID, browse through the list and select annual maintenance. And for the target equipment section, select the equipment for which the service is being done. Then, make sure your service order type makes sense. In this case we've selected MRO, so the system will create service orders of the MRO type. Now let's save it and then go on to the recurrence tab. This will tell the system how we want it to generate the service orders. So for this example, we'll select the monthly option and set it for every 3 months. Here it will mention the frequency of the service order. So if we go to Schedule on, we can set the date or set it for a particular day of the week. For this, we'll set it for the first Monday of every month. Once that's done, we need to click on Generate from Service Contracts so the system can get started. However, since our contract is still in drafts, we will first need to activate the contract by going into the Actions tab. Once the status indicates that the contract has been activated, we can open the schedule once more and then click on Generate from Service Contracts. Now all we need to do is select a date range, until when we want to generate these service contracts.
Next, find your service contract ID in the Schedules tab and select that line. Now hit the process. Once that's been processed, let's go back to our contract and see which service orders are generated. Let's refresh the screen, and then under Inquires, click on Service Order History. Then change the data range to the appropriate date and take a look at which service orders pop up. For our example, we selected a present to future date. And as you can see, four service orders have been generated per quarter, each on a specific day of the month, that is the first Monday as we requested earlier. Now if we open a service order, we will see that under details, all the information has been carried over from the contract itself. This ensures that the service manager will be in the know about the services or preventative maintenance that will need to be carried out. This will allow the service manager to assign staff to the job and schedule appointments accordingly as well as notify them via email. Once the engineer has performed the activity, completed the task and closed it, since this was under warranty, no billing will be carried out. We can always refer to the inbuilt reports, or if required, we can create custom reports. So this concludes our third process in the fourth, and final, part of the Acumatica service management demo. Thank you.